Hello and welcome back. It's Monday, so you know what that means. Time for a sales update. This is uh, for the week of September 7th through September 13th. Uh, this past week I sold a total of 29 items. Average sale price of $34.05, which is pretty average for me. Usually in the 30s. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. First sale was this Masters Collection uh, half zip, kind of a fleece pullover. Sold this for full price of $49.99. Always pick up these Masters or Amen Corner, anything with the uh, Augusta logo on it, sell for good money. And then we got these new with tag Orbis dress pants. Uh, these were uh, green. I mean, like I said, completely new with tags. The uh, completely unhemmed there. So sold those for a best offer of $36. And then uh, here we go again. Another uh, Augusta logo for the Amen Corner polo here. I sold this for a uh, best offer of 26 these are usually pretty quick sales too, so I don't always aim for the highest price. I'll take whatever I can get for a quick flip sometimes. And then here I got this Columbia shirt. It's uh, got a cool graphic of all these fish on it. Great condition. I sold this for a best offer of $30, I think it was. And then we got this new with tags Tommy Hilfiger polo. Only pick Tommy Hilfiger up if it's new with tags. Those sell the best for me. And I sold this one for the sale price of $29.99. And then I got this new in the wrapper, I guess you'd say. A Ralph Lauren fragrance hat with a big pony on it. It says fragrances on the back there. I got three of these. This is the first one that sold, and I sold this one for the sale price of $29.99. And then this Gitman Brothers uh, Vintage Seersucker Blue and White Striped Men's Small Shirt. I sold this for the best offer of $65 plus $15 to ship it to Germany. So that was a good sale. For, I think the shirt cost me $4.99, somewhere around there. And I got these Lower East Side Women's uh, New With Tags shoes. And I sold these for a best offer of $27.50. And then I got this cool Manzini. Uh, this all embroidered here in the front with these dragons blowing fire. It's a French cuff, cool looking shirt. Sold that for a uh, best offer of 28 And then we got this Peter Millar, another good brand to always pick up. It's a long sleeve blue white check men's dress shirt. And I took a best offer of 28 on that. And then I had this uh, Packers Fred Flintstone Barney Rubble uh, t shirt, vintage from the 90s. And I ended up taking a best offer of $19.99 on that. <clears throat> As you can see, I aimed high for $40. And took the best offer of $20. So I said a dollar t-shirt. Turning it into $20, I'll do that all day long. And then next I got this new with tags Perry Ellis jacket. It's kind of like a quilted pattern to it. I ended up taking a best offer of 40 on this, plus 28 to ship it to Russia. And then these Nine West leopard print furry uh, women's heels. I ended up selling these for a best offer of $30. And then this Kuji uh, full zip, kind of like a track jacket. Nice embroidered. Uh, Green and white. And I sold this for best offer of $35. Took a few months to sell. Kuji usually takes a while for me. 
And in this Harry Potter tie. Picked these up from time to time. Sold this one for the uh, sale price of $9.74 plus $1.99 shipping. And then another Kuji. It's a 5XL embroidered long sleeve polo. <clears throat> Sold this for the sale price of $29.99 plus $3.99 ship. And then this new with tags Under Armour short sleeve polo with the uh, pink stripes on the sleeves. Took a best offer of $45 on that. And then this Hugo Boss men's suit. Would have taken a best offer of $70 on that. And one of my favorite things I always pick up are these Apple employee shirts. Usually only cost you a couple bucks at the thrift and they sell pretty quickly. This one sold for the sale price of $37.49. It's pretty average. I usually get about $35 to $40 for these. So I was happy with that. Don't find them nearly enough. This is probably my fourth or fifth one I've ever found. Always be on the lookout. And then I have the Stafford suit. Ended up selling that for the best offer of $40 plus $6.99 shipping. And then this cool Thomas Dean flip cuff striped medium men's shirt. Took the best offer of $25 on that. <clears throat> And this cool Tommy Bahama. It's kind of like a, almost like a parasailing or a windsurfing, or I don't know what they're doing. The back's got this big tree on it. I think it was 100% linen, if I remember correctly. So I ended up selling that for the sale price of $37.49. And then this Under Armour short sleeve uh, polyester, kind of a Gym shirt, workout, basketball, playing kind of shirt. Sold this for uh, sale price of eighteen seventy four plus two ninety nine shipping. And then uh, the cinch, seersucker, short sleeve, colorful, kind of a check shirt. Always be on the lookout for this brand. Sold this for the sale price of twenty nine ninety nine plus fifteen to ship it to Peru. And then I got this blue Pronto Omo men's uh, new with tag shirt. An awesome baby blue with this crazy design on it. Took a best offer of $35 on that. And then this nice Woolrich green uh, with the suede elbow and shoulder pieces on it. Sold this for a best offer of $40. And then this Charles Tyrewit black and white tie. Sold this for the best offer of $20. And then this Foot Joy all black short sleeve size small polo. Sold this for sale price of $19.49. And then last but not least, this Donna Karen men's suit. Made in Italy. It's great condition and I'm taking a best offer of $75 on that. So that's everything I sold for the week. Hopefully everyone else had some great sales. Uh, if you're not a member of our Facebook group, Sellers Helping Sellers on eBay and Amazon, the link's in the description below. We'd love to have you. It's a great group of people helping each other succeed on both platforms. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. We're about at 160, 175 subs now. That's great. I love reading all the comments and responding. So uh, that's it. Probably have a haul video tomorrow. And until next time, take care.